Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Mary Queen of Peace Parish, St. Mary of the Mount Church. We are really excited to be starting up a new season of Music on the Mount this year. Um, this is a program we do in collaboration. Um, at least we have done it every year for quite a while, except for the pandemic years with Duquesne University's Mary Papert School of Music. Today we have the Duquesne um, Chamber Group, Jazz Chamber Group, uh, led by Jeff Bush. And we have a really great program of jazz classics lined up for you today. So without further ado, uh, presenting the Duquesne University Jazz Chamber Group. Thank you, sir.
Thank you so much and good afternoon. How's everyone doing today? Good. All right. I like that. Well, welcome and uh, thank you for joining us. My name is Jeff Bush and uh, I have the pleasure of serving as the Assistant Program Director of Jazz Studies at the Mary Pappert School of Music at Duquesne University. And it's my pleasure to be here with some of our outstanding students. As Bill mentioned, this is the, uh, one of the chamber jazz ensembles that, that we have um, at the school. And uh, if you're not familiar with a chamber jazz ensemble, it's usually either a trio up to a, a sextet of, of musicians, and we're working on um, the improvisation and um, learning the repertoire and group interplay and lots of things like that, which is wonderful. And uh, today's program, we are going to focus on selections from the Great American Songbook. Some of you may have recognized A Foggy Day, which is the very first piece that we played, written by George and Ira Gershwin. And uh, one of the things we work on when we improvise is song form for any of the musicians in the house. A uh, lot jazz musicians often have to improvise on a 12 measure long blues or a 32 measure long song form that's very standard. That one's a particular challenge because the Gershwin brothers added two measures to the very end, so it's uh, quite a challenge and these, these young musicians did an excellent job of playing on Foggy Day. And before we go any further, I'd like to introduce all these wonderful, wonderful young musicians. They, they're students, but many of them are starting to have uh, an active professional career. And uh, this particular ensemble, we're running like a band, a working band. So let me introduce all these folks to my immediate left in the front line, playing the trumpet, he's pursuing a um, Bachelor of Arts in Music. He's a senior and he's playing trumpet. This is Alex Perez. And rounding out the front line, he's currently holding an alto saxophone, but he's becoming quite proficient on all of the woodwinds. He uh, performs uh, regularly on baritone saxophone and also is becoming a, a wonderful flute player. He's the kind of musician that can pick up a flute in one week and bring it in and play it great the next week. And he is a sophomore music performance major with a jazz emphasis. This is Tate Hanlon, alto sax. And in our wonderful rhythm section, gentleman playing guitar of a uh, been fortunate to know him for quite some time. He's a Duquesne alum, completing his music education degree um, this spring, and he has returned uh, to pursue a uh, master's degree in music performance, jazz emphasis, and he is one of the graduate assistants as well at our school. This is Alex Weibel on the guitar. Alex Weibel. Uh, gentleman playing the bass. Um, he is a, uh, pursuing the BA in music, Bachelor of Arts in Music, and he is a junior. We both had a difficult travel schedule last night. He came in from Lancaster, Pennsylvania today. I came in from a little further away in Tom's River, New Jersey, and uh, we're both a little tired. I'm particularly tired because the um, fire alarm in my hotel went off uh, twice during the middle of the night, so I'll be going to bed early tonight. But. Uh, um, playing the bass, and he was uh, playing, uh, showing the versatility of these young musicians. He was playing a folk gig yesterday, and here he is uh, working a straight-ahead jazz gig, and that's, that's what we're talking about. These are young working musicians. This is, we call him Nano, but his name is Emiliano Sigrid Wilkinson, bass. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, playing the drums and holding our rhythm section together, um, she is an alumnus of the uh, Berkeley School of Music and uh, has decided here to come to uh, Duquesne University to pursue her master's degree where she is in her second year working on the um, master's in music performance with a jazz emphasis. Please say hello to Su Jin Park on the drums. Su Jin Park. Thank you all very much. We're going to uh, continue right now with uh, an arrangement of a, a wonderful song called Imagination. And uh, this is traditionally done as a ballad, but our arrangement, uh, we change it up and uh, give it a little uh, Brazilian bossa nova flavor. This was written by uh, Jimmy Van Dusen and Johnny Burke, and we do hope you enjoy our version of Imagination.
Thank you so much. Imagination, a lovely song. Well, right now, what we'd like to do is turn the spotlight on one of these musicians, and we're going to feature Tate Hanlon at the, uh, at the alto saxophone. And uh, he's going to play a piece, uh, a particular favorite of mine. Uh, it's written by the great Vincent Humans. comes from the Broadway show No No Nanette. And uh, I've played this many, 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 many times over the years. And I still like this tune, often done as a cha-cha or... Uh, I've played just behind tap dancers many times, but we're going to swing it for you straight ahead. We're going to let Tate lead the band on a wonderful song called T for Two.
Tate Hanman, alto sax, and all of our rhythm section. Thank you. Wonderful. Good job on the tag. Yeah. Another thing we're working on is, is uh, I'll let you know as we bring up Alex, how to uh, begin and particularly end songs can be quite difficult as there's no sheet music, no arrangement. They were just communicating with their ears and their eyes. And when we end a song, is particularly something from the Great American Songbook, we use the last two to four measures and repeat it, and it can be different each and every time. And I'm particularly glad that uh, I refer to their jazz blinders sometimes when we're not paying attention. They didn't have them on, and they played the tag great. So thank you all. You get bonus points for tomorrow's rehearsals for playing the tag. Well, we move, and we're uh, right along here. We're going to get the, the full band back uh, um, on the stand here. And uh, this next piece is an arrangement that I did um, for the group Firm Roots, which is a, a great hard bop jazz sextet that unfortunately works too infrequently. Um, but I brought in one of the arrangements uh, that uh, was done on a piece uh, by the songwriting team Dietz and Schwartz. And um, we hope you enjoy it. It's one of my favorites to play. It's called You and the Night and the Music.
Thank you. You and the night and the music. Thank you so much. We are going to change the pace right now and slow things down just a bit and we're going to give the front line this song off and we're going to feature our wonderful rhythm section. It's going to be led by Alex Weibel. And this is um, a particular favorite of mine. It's an absolutely beautiful tune. Been played many times over the years, but I never get tired of hearing that and uh, we hope that you feel the same. Um, written by uh, Jimmy Van Heusen and Johnny Burke. A beautiful song. We're going to feature Alex up front with a little bit of uh, rubato guitar and he's going to lead the band and take care of business, bring in the rhythm section in. So hands off from me. This is Polka Dots and Moonbeams.
That's Alex Weibel on the guitar. Yes, indeed. Great work, man. Wonderful. All right, we got people leading the band. You're not going to need me anymore. That's, uh, that's, what, that's, that's the goal, right? Well, um, we have one more piece uh, for you this afternoon, but I'd, uh, let's see, first I'd like to, um, well, first of all, I'd like to point out in our, in our program, we have, a, we have a lot of wonderful things going on on campus, uh, particularly at the Mary Papert School of Music. It's a very active uh, performance calendar, and there are some upcoming things listed, um, in particular in the, in the uh, jazz area of events. We have our um, jazz ensembles uh, concert, if you'd like to join us this Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. In, uh, on campus, it's um, our jazz workshop, which I conduct, and the jazz ensemble conducted by Mike Tamaro and the Duquesne uh, vocal jazz ensemble conducted by Kelly DeFade. So we have some wonderful music coming up and uh, we invite you to um, attend our, our faculty uh, presents our Uptown Jazz Series, which there's one performance every month. And I'm particularly proud to uh, serve on our, our jazz studies faculty as we have uh, real live working jazz musicians on every instrument. And you can see the teaching that's going on because of these young people right here. So I'm particularly proud to work with our, uh, our jazz faculty and um, last, I'd like to let you know, this group right here, I'm so pleased with them, that uh, we have some 
performances coming up off campus that we have just confirmed. We have one on October 25th for the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust over on their new venue called Liberty Magic. And we're just going to take this band out and, and play some gigs, and it's going to be wonderful. We'll also be over at the, at the Club Con Alma on Thursday, November 17th, starting at 6 p.m. If you'd like to join us, we'd love to see you there. And uh, those events will be under my name because I'm going to take all the money and not pay all these folks. No, that's, that's, that's a joke. I'll pay them a little bit. Um, but, uh, but really, really proud of these young people to get this music together. So the thing that I thought I could best serve them is get them more performance opportunities in the real world. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'd also, before we go, I'd like to thank, uh, um, let's see here, your music director, uh, Bill Brinzer and Megan Corder for inviting us here. We're happy to return here to St. Mary of the Mount. I believe we played here in 2021 to a live stream. And right before the pandemic was the last time we played to live people. And we're happy to be playing for live people again. So thank you. We, we appreciate that opportunity. And uh, we're, we're, we're very thankful for all our support staff at Duquesne University who helped organize this. I don't think Tom Haas is here, but we see Dave Edgett here uh, for sound and thankful for all of my uh, faculty and our leadership, Dean David Weir. We are, we are very lucky um, for the people that we have at uh, the Mary Pappert School of Music. So we have one more piece of music for you and we are going to take you a little bit to the island of Cuba and uh, play a little bit of clave, which uh, in that music that's kind of related to like when our drummer plays a hi-hat on two and four, the clave is a beat either two, three, or three, two, and I won't get too deep into it because I'm not an expert in that music for sure. But we have borrowed an arrangement from the great Pancho Sanchez Latin Jazz Band, and it is on a Jerome Kern classic called Yesterdays. We start things off, we feature our rhythm section, and we'll hear from Sujin Park on drums a little later on.
Thank you so much. Yesterday's Su Jin Park on the drums. Miliano Seigert Wilkinson, bass. Alex Weibel, guitar. Alex Perez, trumpet. Tate Hanlon, alto saxophone. My name is Jeff Bush. Thank you so much for having us. Everybody get home safe and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you so much.